Uh, we have three, well, we, have, we kind of have three poets. Uh, tonight we have Elizabeth Willis, uh, Eugene Ostaszewski, Ost sorry, and uh, Alberto Rigettini, also known as Alberto the Magnificent. And so I'll just introduce them uh, shortly right now and then I would let them run through. I would just uh, introduce Elizabeth, uh, because she is missing, uh, she can't come, uh, doctor's orders, she has been you know, in bad health, so she can't make it to Europe, unfortunately. Uh, but she's going to have a new book in 2015 entitled uh, Alive, New and Selected Poems, so I would recommend that on the program you have, uh, you know, keep it, check her out. It's actually out. It's actually out? She posted it out. It is out, okay. Well, it is out, so you didn't have to wait for it. <laughs> I have a six-year-old, and I need to tell her stories, and I'm really bad at just making them up. So I tell her stories from the Inferno, but I kind of like adopt them for a six-year-old. Uh, one day, Dante and his friend Virgil decided to fly to the moon. Do you know how to fly to the moon? No, says Una. First they found a big barrel and laid it sideways. Then they took a long wooden plank. Did they get it at Ikea? Says Una. No, I say. <laughs> then they got it at Bauhaus, she says. Bauhaus is the German Home Depot. Hello! Nice weather we're having, says the parrot. How do the grammatical structures of your language affect your experience of it? Are you practicing? Says the pirate from the bushes. Are you spying on me? Says the parrot outside the bushes. That won't work, you know, says the pirate climbing out of the bushes. Mm -hmm. Why? Their language might lack the expression for the grammatical structures of your language, explains the pirate. In which case, they would have no idea of what you're talking about. What, do you think I was born yesterday? They wouldn't understand a word if I used words. I'm going to translate everything into signs and gestures. The parrot. How would you render the phrase the grammatical structures of your language in signs and gestures? The parrot. <laughs> no, that's not entirely clear. Have you thought of this? <laughs> well, I'm going to read something by another poet. Uh, maybe an Italian one. Uh, Dante. Because uh, I like it. The idea is uh, I will use the original language, uh, the Volgare. Uh, don't worry about it. Not even Italians really understand it. Love quick to kindle in the gentle heart seized this man, Paolo, for the beauty of my person that was torn from me when she was killed in a way that still offends me. Love seized me with such delight that as you can see, is still on my side, even here in hell. Love led us to death. Amor calcor gentil, ratto saprente, prese costui, la bella persona che mi fu tolta, e il modo ancora muffè. Amor che nulla amato, amar perdona. Mi prese di costui piacersi forte, che come vedi ancora non mi abbandona. Amor condusse noi ad una morte. Caina attenda chi vita ci spense. Queste parole da loro ci furono porte. Noi leggevamo un giorno per diletto. Di lancia lotto e come amor lo strinse. Soli eravamo e senza alcun sospetto. Per più fiate gli occhi ci sospinse quella lettura e scolorocci il viso, ma un solo punto fu quel che ci vinse. Quando leggemmo il disiato riso esser baciato da cotanto amante, questi che mai da me non fia diviso, la bocca mi baciò tutto tremante. Galeotto fu il libro di chi lo scrisse. 
quel giorno più non vi leggiamo. I closed the book. They are victims of literature. <laughs> like us, in this room surrounded by books. 